YTPC. Welcome back. It's Mark. Back with you with another video. Thought I'd come out. It's really cold in Northern Illinois. We only had a high of 25 today. It'll be the same tomorrow. So I didn't really do a lot. I did go out today to get a few things. It sucked. Um, I was thinking today. It didn't really occur to me. Uh, with this job, it's going to be really hard for me to get acclimated to the cold that we experience here in Northern Illinois this year because uh, a lot of our upcoming jobs, what I'm seeing, they're going to be farther south and it's going to be quite a bit warmer. So I'm going to be gone for 10 days in probably, you know, 50 degree weather coming back here in January to teens single digits, it's going to be pretty rough. I mean, it's not like I'm asking for your sympathy, but if you want to give it to me, that's great too. Uh, I just didn't think about it until today. Um, that's going to be, that's the whole thing about getting acclimated to, to colder temperatures is, you know, you have to be around it day in, day out for an extended period of time. I just, hopefully it's not too hard on my old ass and uh, I'll be able to endure it. Smoking my Mr. Brog Fajka in it, Capstan Gold. My favorite Virginia Flake. Um, I don't have a whole lot to talk about. Um, I did find a channel that I do want to do somewhat of a shout out for because, well, I think he deserves it. Um, the guy's name is G Spitaletti. I'm assuming he's Italian. He lives in the UK. Um, he has a decent subscriber account. He's like just shy of a thousand. Not quite sure how long he's been presenting, but what caught my eye is the number of videos. Like a lot of you, I enjoy seeing, you know, presenters who make it to different tobacconists, to different shops, you know, you see what they see, what they have. And I mean, I always thought that was really cool. It draws me and he does that. Um, but watching his channel, watching some of his videos, it made me realize just how lucky we here in the States are. Uh, some of these shops he travels to, he's traveling for hours. Um, God, he went from UK all the way to Switzerland on one. Um, granted, he could be going on vacation, you know, whatever. Um, I doubt that's the case with a lot of these, though. He just takes the train. Um, he travels some pretty crazy distances to go to these shops and record them, post them on YouTube. I think that's really cool. Um, why I don't think he's doing all this traveling and vacation, because there's there was a few videos where he didn't buy some tobacco because it was too expensive for him. Flat out. If you don't have, if you're going to travel a lot, you're going to, you have to afford to do it. And, uh, but I also believe he's a pipe carver. Um, it's just a real good channel. He, uh, you get to see a lot of the European landscape shops, you know, um, architecture, things like that. It's, uh, quite different than what we have here in the States. So. That's always cool when you see something like that. Um, I hope everyone had a great Monday. Mine was pretty good. Besides, I had to make a run to Walmart. Um, kind of had a little bit of an annoying episode today. <laughs> I had to go get salt. Because now we got snow and ice. 
we didn't have any salt, so I ran to Walmart. I'm looking to get a, and I'm going to get one, just a little Bluetooth mic for making my videos in the garage. I don't like the sound I'm getting in here. I'm hoping that'll help. Um, Walmart, of course, I didn't expect them to have something like that. So there's a Best Buy on my way home. And I thought I would stop, you know, if they're, first off, I'm not a big fan of Best Buy. Never have been, never will be. Um, I'm not a big fan of technology. We all, I mean, you know that, I've made it clear, but when it's time for me to, where I need something like that, I usually go check Best Buy. I don't shop there often because the very reason today. Went in, they have zero, none. And to be honest with you, that store, I, I understand that Black Friday, they probably, the store was probably, there was a lot more items in the store before Black Friday, but there's so much, so many shelves in there that's just empty of things that, you know, people probably want, need. I think the last three times I went to Best Buy for something, they told me I had to order online. Now, how useful, how useless of a store is that to where, like, every time you go, they don't have what you're looking for and they tell you to order online. It blew my mind they did not have one of the microphones there. There's no reason that they should not have them. I mean, they're, I just, I don't get it. But I digress. It was just, it was somewhat annoying. It's cold, special stop. I figured they would have it. Of course they did not have it. Now I'm gonna order one from Amazon. So I just did that now. Did that in the first place, but I just thought about getting one, like last week. Um, I should have just ordered one, but I didn't. I'm one of those individuals where I like the convenience, knowing that I can just go to the store and buy one. I'll pay more for the son of a bitch if it means I can get it today. I hate waiting for things. That's me. But I'm learning a, a life lesson here that patience is a virtue. I need to have more patience because those days of just going to stores and buying shit, they're gone. Uh, I mean, unless it's food or something like that. And even then, it's getting... It's getting pretty close to, uh, you know, you better plan ahead. But little rant, you know, that's what we like to call first world problems. Many people won't even complain because it, it, you look foolish. <laughs> I don't care if I look foolish. Um, that's definitely where we're at, though, as a country, is the amount of people, and I mean, like, people that are within my family, friend circle, that completely do things differently now than before COVID. They literally shop online, go pick up their shit, you know. Get it dropped out. They say, well, it's convenient, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Maybe physically it's a little convenient, but you still got to get on your phone and you got to pick everything you want and order everything you want. It's just, it's just more, you know, it's just more, uh, can't think of the word, dependency on technology and I think it's that's not a healthy thing for you to continually make yourself more and more dependent on technology people are completely forgetting 
you know, how many people actually could probably fucking change a tire anymore without having to look it up on YouTube? Change a fucking tire. There's more than you think, trust me. It's just, hmm. yeah, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. I am enjoying my cat stand. Hmm. So, another inconvenience with, uh, like I said, there's always good with the bad in anything and with the job. Um, my one son, due to scheduling, they alternate every year coming here for Christmas or going to my coming here for my son's family during Christmas week. And then they'll go after Christmas week, they'll go to his wife's family. Well, this is the year they're going to his wife's family Christmas week. Um, in the week they're going to be here, I will be gone. I'll be in Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky. So I may have to plan a trip down to Georgia to visit him while I'm off the next couple weeks. Um, I probably will. One thing, once you have kids, even after they grow up, you got to see them. You got to figure out ways to see them. Um, but otherwise, it's just too long. When you go six months without seeing your children, you know, I don't know about you, but it's, that's hard on me. So I might be having to plan a trip down there for three or four days anyway. Um, yeah, I just thought I would come out, have a smoke, catch up with everybody, ask everybody how their day went. You now know how my day went. <laughs> um, again, appreciate everybody coming to the channel, commenting. Um, yeah, even, you know, hopefully when you come to the channel, you, you like it, you subscribe. Um, but, uh, always appreciated. So tomorrow, probably at least make one video, if not a couple. Um, everybody stay safe tonight. Till next time, keep them lit.